farming files, I have built a time machine and gone back to nine, the late 80s. And as you can see, the mowing is just about to start on one of her grandparents' farms. Um, this is where my father grew up and this is a video taken back then. Um, so as you can see, here is the mower and we're going to show you how it was different, um, all the silaging, to how it is nowadays. So as you can see, the mowers were a lot smaller back then and they only had one mower that they pulled behind a tractor. So that is a Ford tractor and I'm not sure what kind of mower that is, but it's a lot smaller than what you get nowadays. So just before I tell you about this, the rowing up machine, you need to remember that when our granny recorded this, the cameras were massive, um, they were just ginormous, um, so that's why she was a bit wobbly, and also some of the things are in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, as that's what all cameras um, filmed in. Anyway, now I'm going to tell you about the, uh, the rowing up machine. Father's world might be changing. It's too much. So the rowing up machine, as you can see, had these four baskets, as they're called, um, with rubber on them that spin around and take off all of the grass to the left um, where it's put into rows. Now, as you can see, it's a lot smaller than um, they are nowadays and they're not big bits that spin around, they're just these little bits. So this is the Class Jaguar 85E. Now this is a trailed forage harvester or chopper. Um, so it's very different to what you get nowadays because it's pulled by a tractor to start with. Um, so obviously this is very old now. It's probably getting on 40 years old almost. And they are really quite rare now. Um, so you'll probably have quite a bit of trouble finding even much footage of this now. Obviously nowadays you get the self-propelled harvesters and it's actually a lot, well it's still a thing that you get which is uh, trailed harvesters but they're a lot less common. So now we've made it back to the pit and you may be wondering why has the driver just jumped out of his tractor? Well that is because he has to manually go and open up the door. So now he, as you can see he's opened up and he's getting back in. So now he's got to, oh, uh, to lift it up from inside the tractor. Then once it's been emptied out he's got to get back out again, walk all the way around and then uh, hook the trailer door back on, not hook it on, but attach it back so it doesn't open and then get back in the tractor and drive off again. So as you can imagine it's a lot slower than it is nowadays. Most of the time it's silaging and um, instead what we could do nowadays in like two days it would be almost a week it would take. This was also the first year that the farm had a buck rake. Before then, they had a draught, and we'll show you that in a second. But obviously, we still use buck rakes today, they're a little bit bigger than this one. But yeah, this was the first year that this farm used them. This is our granny's farm, not our farm. 
this is the draught and as you can see it's kind of like a cross between a digger and a tank so it's got a scoop at the front that can move grass with and it's got the tracks um, that help it to go up the pest and everything um, but as you can see there's no cab and as you can probably imagine there's obviously no radio obviously no air conditioning uh, and none of these nice things it was probably a metal seat as well so it probably wasn't the nicest thing to actually drive thank you so much for watching our video um, obviously it was a bit shorter today um, because there was only a certain amount of footage that my granny had actually recorded then but thank you very much granny for recording that um, but anyway um, tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Monday we won't have a video if you like the video then subscribe to the channel and like the video uh, and comment down below on this video if you have something interesting to say anyway I'll see you later Change by day I've seen time used for hurt the voices from that far So it's not Yeah.